Hi guys, I'm Lillian. And I'm Felipe. And we're the Postmodern Family. We are Americans living in UK searching for Great Britain. We make three new videos a week and we hope you subscribe to our channel. In this episode, we're going to react to a very unique black and white episode in which John Cleese does a routine with the two Ronnies. Okay, so once again, I found a gem of a video clip on Twitter, and I thought it was so funny, we should react to it. It's about classes. I look down on him because I am upper class. I look up to him because he is upper class. But I look down on him because he is lower class. <laughs> I am middle class. <laughs> I know my place. <laughs> I look up to them both. But I don't look up to him as much as I look up to him. <laughs> because he has got innate breeding. I have got innate breeding, but I have not got any money. <laughs> so sometimes I look up to him. <laughs> I still look up to him. Because although I have money, I am vulgar. <laughs> but I'm not as vulgar as him. So I still look down on him. <laughs> I know my place. <laughs> I look up to them both. But while I am poor, I am industrious, honest and trustworthy. Had I the inclination, I could look down on them. <laughs> but I don't. We all know our place, but what do we get out of it? I get a feeling of superiority over them. I get a feeling of inferiority from him. But a feeling of superiority over him. <laughs> I get a pain in the back of my neck. <laughs> so um, John Cleese gave me the feeling of Jacob Rees-Mogg, like mm. the same body type mm. and upper class and, and the accent that. he yeah. put the accent on yeah 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 so do you think have you encountered any class have we even met any like people upper in class, a class people i don't know probably not but even if we did they might have tried to hide their class superiority mm. as much as possible mm. i think that's the polite thing to do mm. Their innate breeding. Oh, we had we we knew some Who? in like the Tunbridge Wells area, right? I guess they were they were upper, right? But they didn't. Well, then no, again, we I wouldn't think be. Middle. Oh, okay, okay. So like upper middle, I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Which has the money, you see. Yeah. But the breeding type. Right. We wouldn't have mingle no money. with. They wouldn't mm -hmm. want to rub shoulders with. Us. Yeah. <laughs> I must say, I relate more to the lower class guy, probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we don't have money, and we don't have breeding. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting why it's so important here. Um, is it, though? You think it is? It seems like it, doesn't it? I mean, these days, people um, people buy estates... Mm -hmm. off of the ones with breeding because mm -hmm. the ones with breeding like he says don't they don't have money anymore mm -hmm. um but it's still they know that they're still not the same as mm -hmm. having the being born into the blood into the blood <laughs> but is the middle class um hereditary as well this is where so. there's a difference between american middle class yeah, and I british think so. middle class I don't think, no matter how much money and how, how posh you are, you're mm. never, you weren't born into the families the, that are... In the middle. Like the lords. Isn't that what we're no, talking about? No, that's the high. Yeah, I'm talking about... I'm talking about the middle. Well, I'm saying basically if you're not born into the high, into the lords, then you're middle. Is that right? I asked, is the middle hereditary? I don't know if there's a distinction between middle and working... But there is, yeah. The working is the low. I know there is, but in terms of being born into it, I, I don't think so. I think the only exception is you're not born into the upper. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. I just don't know. 
It's by I exclusion. merely asked. I merely asked. Are you born into the middle class? Okay, I think the answer is no, you're not. You're not born into the upper. <laughs> By exclusion. <laughs> Forget the upper class. If you're a child born to parents who are in the middle class. Yes. Are you in the middle class? You could be or you could be in the working class. What does that last part mean? It means you are not upper class. <laughs> Forget <laughs> the upper class. You're confusing yourself and everyone else by the upper class. Okay. okay. So if you're born of middle class parents, mm -hmm. when you grow up, are mm -hmm. you automatically middle class? No. That's what you think. That's what I think. I think you are. Okay. In Eng in the UK, in England, let's say. Okay. Whereas in the US, middle class is strictly money. Because I think that someone born into the middle class can ruin themselves with drugs and alcohol and end up like but totally see, whereas, not having money. But in England, it's not about money. It's about cultural disposition. Even if you get caught up in drugs and waste your money So if away, you don't have money, but you were born middle class, you're still What do you mean? You know, I'm just saying you're a baby and then you're born into the yes, middle class. Yeah. And you, you, you turn 18 uh -huh. and you go out into the world uh -huh. for the first time. Yeah. No matter what you've done or haven't done, you have the cultural disposition from the breeding of your parents, the upbringing of your parents. Of middle class. Possibly, but your parents might change while they're bringing you up. They might end up no, having once to work you're in the middle, an, an hourly job and, but uh, and the, not have But the money. class system here has nothing to do with money. But I think with the kind of job that you hold then shapes the way you speak and the way you no, interact with others. The way you speak and interact with others is driven by your parents. Mm -hmm. But okay. I'm saying, what if the parents change? No, because it happens as you go from from infant to young adult. That for period of formation is mm -hmm. where you get your breeding. Right. So, so even that after time, that breeding, when you grow up no, and you during that time when you're you don't infant, work between infancy yeah. to eighteen year old. Yeah. What if your parents, let's say you're four years old and your father loses his job? He's already had his breeding done because he's already gone okay. from infant then, to eighteen. I'm not talking about the father. I'm talking about the father's influence on the children. Yes. And then when the child, when the child's four, the father loses his job. I know you're saying now the father changes his culture because he's lost his job. Yes. No, it doesn't work that way. Because then let's say he finds a job working at the grocery store. Doesn't matter. And He'll then still he have starts interacting and changing no. the way he speaks. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Accents are very hard to change. Mm -hmm. Very hard. And um, social dispositions are very hard to change. Those are pretty much set from childhood. Okay. So it has nothing to do with then having a different mentality regarding money. No. Okay. No. It's mentality. It's, it's, it's deeper than that. It's like um, whether, whether it's polite to uh, just come over somebody's house unannounced. Whether it's polite to... Uh, keep the topics to the weather and not talk about religion and I don't politics. Know. I'm I'm inclined to think that an an adult male who changes his job and starts maybe, will not change his culture. Maybe no. changes where he lives and then has different friends and no. they they impose different social standards. I think women just like we've changed culture by moving here and now we do things differently and now somehow our daughter has a British accent. She doesn't have a British accent. Americans will say that because they don't know what a British Brits accent is. Brits say that. No, they Our don't. Our viewers say that. They say she picks up hints of it. Mm -hmm. But there's no way she has a normal British accent. I agree with that. But mm. it's still she's still being influenced somehow. She's in the development stage. Yes. Right. And, and um, we've but, changed. But the prime... I wouldn't say we've changed. No. We've changed... We've changed culture, and not in class. I'm just taking no, culture. I don't think so. What's the biggest cultural change you, you would say you've changed? Well, I don't talk to people randomly on the street or start a I think women and... adapt more than men. Okay. <laughs> but I still strike up conversations and stuff mm -hmm. with 
with people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't think I've gone through any significant cultural change. Okay. As I've been I don't know. Here. I think this issue of class is really deep. I think it's deeper than something that we can talk about in a ten minute video. And that's mm. something that I I don't mm. I don't think mm. I I think people have not agreed on it either. I think there are probably different schools of thought on mm. what what determines class. But I think yeah I think I will say that most people would agree in England at least that it has little to do with your earning power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not your earning power might be a consequence of class mm-hmm. sometimes. So I think if you have but they were saying with the upper class they're they're like poor now. Well, they're poorer than they were in a century ago. Mm-hmm. But I think if you have the breeding of the upper class, then you almost automatically have opportunities to earn money mm-hmm. that other classes wouldn't. Maybe. So. I, I wonder if they face a lot of prejudice because of that. Oh, dear me. How poor. How, how well, sad imagine, for them. <laughs> let's say. You know, remember in Downton Abbey, the character Matthew yes, the was a lawyer. Yes, true story right there. <laughs> Well, remember when they looked down upon him for pursuing a job as a, a lawyer, a barrister, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and I'm sure he got it from both sides. He got it from his class, the upper, mm-hmm. and he got it from the working class because they didn't want him around. Um, mm. So in in the modern day, where I think earning power plays a lot into it's it's something that people struggle with. They want to earn mm. money clearly. Mm. And yeah. now that the upper class is struggling with keeping up these large estates and not having income, um, mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess I do feel kind of bad for that situation. Like take Jacob rees Mogg, for example. So he's, and being an MP is a job. You get a salary for that yeah. and all that jazz. So, and people don't like him for it. People don't like his, his I know, but he's, air. but who cares? He's resilient. He just takes the punches, mm-hmm. right? So we don't need to feel sorry for them. They're, that's why they have the breed. That's why they last through the centuries. I don't know. That's I don't why really they have staying power. Yeah, I you guess. See? I don't know any. They pass so. on that resilience. Anyone, any uh, lords wants to be our friend, uh, leave a comment. Invite <laughs> us to your castle. <laughs> to your estate and teach us your ways. Tell us your woes. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave us a comment. Let us know what other videos you think we should react to. And if you really like what we do, leave a comment, share the video, hit a like, hit a subscribe. But you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash the postmodern family. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.